pets up for the nursing team. Very brief introduction to me. Um, my name is Claire. I'm customer success manager here at Pets Up. I'm also um, an RVN, but I am the world's worst client and I really should know better. So I've been an RVN now for 15 years and I've worked in practice for a lot longer than that. So I should know what goes on once my beloved dog goes through the doors in the consulting room. But like our clients, I worried a lot. The first time in my life, I wasn't involved in any aspect of my pet's care. I booked Callie, you'll see her in a moment. This presentation is sort of mostly about her to be spayed at the clinic I helped set up. So I really should know better, but that day I didn't. It took 15 messages and phone calls for me to get this picture of Callie. So what do our clients need? They need expertise, compassion, and communication. Expertise, this is where you and your team excel. Communication, this is where Pets App excels. And compassion, when we work together with you, we can really demonstrate compassion effortlessly. What did I need on that day? Reassurance. So I knew about the expertise part. I know the team well. I know their facilities. So that one was ticked off. And I know they're compassionate and your clients know you're compassionate. Otherwise, I wouldn't have sent Callie that day. What I needed was communication with compassion to reassure me. It was taken for granted that I knew she'd be okay. They knew I'd done this a million times. And I was really guilty of that too when I worked in practice. We know the pet is okay, but the owner doesn't. We get so busy doing other things. We ask the owner to phone reception for an update at 2 p.m. So that owner goes home, clock watches until they get an update at 2. If you're lucky, they'll only call the front desk once. But if they're anything like me, they'll phone multiple times checking in to see how their pet is doing. So what could we have done using Pets App to streamline this process? So picture this scenario instead. The day before Callie was booked in for her surgery, her vet sent me a lovely reminder so I knew what I needed to do to prepare for Callie's procedure. Withhold food the night before, lift her water up, take her for a walk the usual preoperative instructions, cats, you know, starve them, don't let them outside, <clears throat> etc. Then when I take Callie in for a surgery, I leave the clinic and I receive post-op instructions to my phone, not a piece of paper that I lose or should choose, or I'm so worried and anxious about seeing her that I don't absorb the information that I'm getting at the post-op discharge, discharge appointment. That important, that information is so important and it is vital to her recovery. We know that clients sometimes don't take in um, everything that we're telling them because they're so focused on seeing their pet again. So I've got the instructions in the palm of my hand at all times. I can go home, grab a coffee and read in my own time to fully understand what's required of me and Callie to ensure she recovers from our operation. Even more, every single message is effortless for, for the team and it's personalized to Callie. So we've got an example here on the right of some pre-op instructions that we can set as a reminder. And by sending a personalized appointment reminder, clinics can send a nudge to be sent a day ahead of the planned surgery. A clinic I met with this week reported 20% increase in compliance to preoperative instructions. No more delayed procedures because the cat had been let out overnight or the patient had their breakfast. We've all been there. This encouraged and guides owners to utilize Pets App on the day of the surgery. They're not going to call the front desk relentlessly. And if you're unintuited on Pets App, simply set up a template to send the day prior to surgery that details your preoperative instructions. And on the morning, you can send postoperative instructions during your admit using again, a template. So again, we've got on the left, We've got that templated message that you can send and on the right, that reminder that we can generate. So how to generate reminder. So using pets up reminders, we can send a gentle check-in following their um, procedure. And if we use neutering here as an idea, we select the product. This it will pull through from your PMS. So on the left, we can see castration and the procedure. We, we name that procedure on the right-hand side to refer to that to the client. And then we simply populate the reminder content with a post-op check-in message that'll be sent the following day. Let's say nine again, but again, completely open to how you want to communicate with your clients. And you can see here, we've got some sending get well wish wishes from the veterinary team. Um, and we hope that patients, that'll be populated with the patient's name, is making a swift recovery. We're advising them what is normal, if they're abnormal, you know, what to do. And then we're saying, please send us a photo of their stitches in two days time for a pets at post-op check. Again, fully personalized. You can customize this to exactly how you want to word it for your clients. There she is, says Callie. And thinking about Callie's hospital stay still, I was reassured. I'd seen a picture of her earlier, but now my brain was in overdrive. I knew she was either under anesthetic or was recovering, and my stress levels were at an all-time high. But the clinic did very kindly send me this message of Callie, looking a little forlorn, but granted, recovered well from her anesthetic. Using templated message on Pets app, we can quickly and effectively communicate with owners. And just a couple of clicks, we can effectively inform our clients, reducing the pressure on the front desk, as that worried owner already knows how their pet is doing. So it could have been better for Callie. Could have received this lovely templated message that could have been sent in two clicks. Already personalized. All they have to do is snap a picture and upload it. If you're using the desktop version, this is how it looks. So you search for your patient. 
going to type in Callie. We can see she's on Petsup, but we can send an SMS as well. And look for the template message that we want when we've got inpatient update with photo. And you can see here it's populated, hi Claire, and then it's got Callie's information in here. We've uploaded that picture. Really straightforward. And that's going to go straight over to the client. And then on a mobile device. So if you've got a mobile device out the back and you've got Pets app on there, you want to quickly snap a picture and send it um, on the fly to a client, simply use a mobile device and it's super quick and easy. And this is how it looks on your mobile. So we're going to start a new chat again, search for your patient. There she is, all her information, but we're going to start a chat and we're going to quickly, super quick, send that message. And then you can either take a photo or use one you've just taken. There she is again, send that over to the client. Lovely and straightforward. So let's continue to think about the hospitalized inpatient, whether it's a day case or a prolonged stay, we've all been there. 4 p.m. comes, <clears throat> there's a queue at reception and the owner's anxiously waiting to pick up their pet that's been in for the day. Evening consults are in full swing and the phone is ringing off the hook. How much easier would it have been if the worried owner had received an update? They'd also been sent a payment link to send before they visit for their discharge appointment and they simply just had to let reception know they'd arrived and the reception can give their attention to the clients in front of them. So you can see on the right, we could send that nice payment request over to the client. They can pay by Apple Pay, major credit and debit cards, or by um, Google Pay. So I've got less phone calls, happier clients, and more time. So we can send pre and post-operative instructions. The client's going to receive post-operative instructions once they've dropped their pet off, which they've got them in the palm of their hand. They then receive a lovely update with a picture of their pet settled into the kennel or after they've recovered. We can then send pre a prepayment and appointment. We we can send a payment link prior to discharge and a link to book their post-operative appointment. What we can also do to take this further is do asynchronous video discharge. So you can send the owner a message and record a, a video of yourself doing a discharge, you know, sitting in the kennel with Callie to say, you know, hi, it's Claire, one of the nurses, you know, Callie's recovered well from her anaesthetic. When you take her home, please ensure she has a light meal this evening, you know, lead walks only for the next seven to 10 days, monitor her wound, you know, your usual um, discharge instructions. They've got that on their phone at all times so they can refer back to those instructions and see that warm, lovely personalized message from their um, nurse or the vet in the kennel. You can send a reminder the next day that goes out using specific feed as a gentle check-in to see their pets doing. We can do um, post-op check-ins by Pets app. So, you know, that fractious cat that's very nervous, doesn't have to be bundled in the cat carrier and taken in. We can do asynchronous um, post-op um, appointments to see how their pet is doing. Simply send some pictures, pictures of their wound and their stitches with an update from the client which frees up more time, more availability for your team to do what they do best. We can also use custom reminders in Pets app. We can generate nudges to clients to further enhance your nurse or vet recommendations. We can remind of just about anything in your PMS. So if you've seen a patient that needs an information sheet, but you don't have the time to email it after your busy consulting block, Pets app can do all the hard work. Simply generate a reminder on the back of any product or create a line item if you want to start something new, be it a welcome message, advice, possibilities are endless here. So we can see on the left, a client's been recommended a dental. You would simply sell a line item that's free of charge to the client that says dental recommendation. And then after a set period of time, if you're choosing, you can send a reminder with to enhance and um, further recommend a dental. On the right, we've got litter tray recommendations. If you're giving clients advice on litter training, you could have a, um, a line item that says litter box training and you can send a reminder out on the back of this and that find out about litter box training. It could be a URL, maybe it's to iCat Care or other um, recommended websites if you're wanting to, to send them over. And we can see here how much owners love and appreciate our efforts. This usually goes unseen. We do get cards and chocolates, which are hugely appreciated, but these little day-to-day -day thank yous mean so much. And for the business, this spreads client bonding and the goodwill of clients will spread widely across your team. You can see messages here, how easy clients have found it to pay. They love the post um, procedure check-in. They love being updated. They loved um, having photos and being reassured. A source of incredible amount of lost time for me when I was in practice was the dreaded meds to collect box. It started with a plastic tub and it evolved to some drawers that were just about the height of me, lettered alphabetically, that some poor soul had to go through on a regular basis to contact the owners and see if they still wanted their flea and worming treatment or put it back to stock. Or worse still, put it in the dupe bin because it had expired. We can encourage clients to pay for requested medications prior to collection and they're committing to collect. So this removes the, the need 
of a stock that sits unnecessarily. It saves time. You know, the receptionist receives a call from the owner. They then ask a nurse or a vet if that client can have the medication. The nurse or the vet checks clinical records and spends valuable time valuable time ensuring that medication is prescribed correctly and it sits in the plastic drawers of doom waiting for that poor soul we mentioned earlier to have to go through that cycle all over again even me talking about that process is time consuming but we all have this in clinic let alone actually doing it so if we confirm owner's commitment to come and collect that medication the time savings are so apparent and there's less stock wasted as well so if your client are recommending or requesting flea worming medication simply send them a payment request to pay prior to coming in if you have any further questions on anything um, you have seen in this presentation please reach out to your customer success manager. We'd be more than happy to run through any recommendations, help you get this set up in your clinic. We'd love to talk you through this and see what we can do to enhance your processes for the nursing team on Pets app.